Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Now today we're going to be looking at Mermaid Lagoon. If you've not seen these videos before on my channel, this is an entire series looking at each of the Distress Oxide colours individually. We're working through them alphabetically, we're up to the M, so we're kind of getting halfway through them, which is really exciting. Now with each colour, we look at the colour and the shade and how it compares to other colours uh, that are close by within the Distress Oxide range. And then we also do a couple of combinations with it. So whichever colours you have in your stash at the moment, hopefully you'll find some inspiration here to start mixing them and combining them. So the first thing we need to do is look at Mermaid Lagoon. So it's a beautiful bright blue. It's kind of got a bit of a green undertone to it. So it's not a royal blue. It's not a baby blue. I think it's definitely one of the brightest blues within the range. So you can see here that the um, the label looks quite similar to the ink pad. Now, sometimes we actually see quite a difference here. So it's just good to see. Do you know what? This is really handy when you accidentally mix up all, you've got all your lids off and you mix them up and then you need to try and replace them. Um, but of course you do also have the name on the back. So if you ever come across that problem, which I have many times, you'll soon be able to find where that goes. So with the labels if we look at the bottom corner here that is the truest color i think that's pretty accurate so hopefully that will also be accurate on paper so let's just bring in a, a blending mat here so that we can swatch mermaid lagoon first of all so let's pop it onto the bottom of some white cardstock with a blending brush now the inks that i'm using the blending brushes the blending mat although this does come clear i have added my own uh, alcohol ink color to it so i didn't keep losing it um, and the download for the distress chart as well are all linked down below so you'll be able to easily find those so this is mermaid lagoon swatched onto white cardstock isn't that stunning very very similar to the label there so not much difference at all with that which is always good to see because it's nice to know that we're getting what we think we're getting in an ink pad let's just have a look at the swatch chart so let's go to the greens and blues there there's a blue at the top there as well so we'll just bring this one in also let's make sure you can see all of those so mermaid lagoon here as you can see now salty ocean is quite similar ever so slightly lighter more of a blue than a green there um, so again if you're doing these combinations and you don't have mermaid lagoon if you do have salty ocean it could be one to replace it quite similar um, and again if you're on a budget also you could always duplicate or rather sorry um, substitute these two for each other so looking at other blues uncharted mariner is definitely a much darker shade of the similar sort of color uh, chipped sapphire is much more of a navy blue as is a prize ribbon is darker and then we're getting into our much much paler blues and you can see here with the greens peacock feathers isn't too dissimilar but more green than blue so hopefully that gives you bit of an idea about where mermaid um, mermaid lagoon sits such a beautiful name as well so like I say this color chart that is free for you to print off at home and then fill in as and when you get colors in your stash that is all there for you on my website you'll see the uh, information down in the description so the first color combination we're going to be looking at today is a lovely bright one i thought we've got a bright blue we need to go with other bright colors twisted citron and squeezed lemonade two of the brightest colors within the greens and the yellows so twisted citron is fast becoming a new favorite of mine it's a beautiful green but it is a lime green and that's going to just work so so beautifully into the blue so I'm first of all just putting down my solid colour. Now you can see already we've started with a bit of blending here. I don't want to go too far into the green. It's quite a difference between the colours here. I'm just going to do tiny, tiny little circles over the blue and the green there. The smaller the circles, the more, um, the softer the blend you're going to get. Now. If you do big circles you're going to be dragging blue into the yellow too far down so just tiny tiny little circles and you don't always even need to replace 
the uh, ink on your brush you can just use what's already on there so you can see there we've already got this lovely mid green coming through between the two so we've already got a third color in there but let's just give this a wipe again and then go into yellow as well so and a dry because of course oxides are water reactive that is one of their properties and that just means that if you do get water on them you're going to end up with a sort of some beautiful texture but it may not be the texture you want so then going into the brightest yellow squeezed lemonade lovely lovely color again just bring that into the twisted citron and those two colors do blend together so nicely you can barely see the difference between the two there you can just about see it I think my lights are extremely bright in here that is a really lovely color blend so I think I'm going to have to photograph this one for you so you can see more of the green through here but really really beautiful so there's one color combination for you definitely very tropical isn't it so that is mermaid lagoon twisted citron and squeezed lemonade so let's move on to another combination we'll just leave that on there and we're going to again have mermaid lagoon but we're going to go starting with uncharted mariner into the bright mermaid lagoon into old paper and into vintage photo so this is much more of a toned down kind of combination um, quite masculine um, quite dark steampunk almost if you wish to go down that route um, but I love it I absolutely love mixing blues and browns together so a nice hit of uncharted mariner beautiful beautiful color I've always said this is actually my all-time favorite I don't think that will ever be taken away by another color so there's uncharted mariner and next into mermaid lagoon and they do work so so well together they just blend beautifully now I'm not sure yet because I don't test these combinations out before I show you so I'm not quite sure yet how old paper is going to go into mermaid lagoon and because I'm not sure the best thing to do is to just bring up a very light blend here a pale blend of the blue color and then hopefully that will help to lead into old paper maybe if the blending isn't as easy as I hope but I do love exploring these combinations with you all and it seems like you're all enjoying the videos as well don't forget if you are enjoying this series uh, please do give me a thumbs up and if you've just discovered me maybe through your browse features I'd love it if you could subscribe as well because I am uploading a few of these videos a week and when I've finished with all of the colors I've got a plan for what I'm going to be showing you using distress inks and oxides following on from that a completely new series so um, yeah lots and lots in the pipeline so make sure you hit that subscribe button now old paper is an unusual one I always think the label looks green but it's kind of sitting within the brows and I'm going to bring this pretty much to the end to help with the blending into the next color I think that's actually blended nicely it's really lovely I'm going to bring the blue up a bit further just like so I think that's blended really nicely they're beautiful we do still have a bit of a, a green going on between the two which is lovely and then from old paper let's just put the lids back on my ink pads into vintage photo so a really nice brown here I'll just give this another white because I've got browns and or sorry blues and all sorts on here and let's just cap the end of this with a brown giving it exactly that a vintage look vintage photo is probably one of my most used browns this and gathered twigs vintage photo is more of a red tone though look at that isn't that just so lovely the four colors leading well into each other so so beautifully over a background that is going to look absolutely gorgeous wouldn't it look nice with a silhouette behind as well stunning okay so there are two different combinations for you um, with each of these we've gone uh, well quite bright with one and quite dark with another but you can really see mermaid lagoon really standing out nicely there
so isn't that stunning such a pretty pretty color and it just goes to show it will work into cooler colors uh, it will work into warmer colors as well uh, it really is in my mind a must-have blue within your stash so i hope you've enjoyed this video again please thumbs up subscribe that would really help me out i appreciate that um, but more importantly please do make sure you check back on all the other videos that i've created within this series so far and if you are subscribing you'll be informed when i upload new ones so we've got another fantastic color coming up next that's going to be milled lavender so a beautiful soft lilac color so make sure you join me for that uh, in a few days thank you everybody i'll see you again very soon take care